Hello, in this video, we will see how to create an ISO file from a bootable USB drive in Windows without using any third party software or application. We will use only the built in command prompt tool to do this thing. So, let's see how we can create an ISO file from a bootable USB drive. So, at first, we need to insert the bootable USB drive with our computer. We are going to connect the USB drive that we want to create an ISO from into our computer. So I'm going to open the explorer I already connected and I'm going to show you the pen drive. So in this computer C is the main drive and Z is the pen drive and here we are seeing this is the Windows 11 ISO file which is bootable. This is not an ISO file this is a bootable USB drive. So we will create an ISO file from this USB pen drive. So now we can put it alike like this and then we need to open the command prompt as administrator. Just press the start menu or you can click the search and then search box will be appear. Here just start typing command and you will see command prompt is there. Right click on top of it and it will bring on menu like this. From here we need to choose run as administrator. So the command prompt will be opened as an admin mode and here we need to choose yes so that the command prompt will be opened like this. Now we need to type couple of commands. At first we need to use the dispart command. This dispart command will help us to show all the disks of our computer. This is a utility and we can easily access this utility by typing the command disk part. And then once we type this part then we can press the enter key of our keyboard. And it will show that we are accessing the dispart utility. Now we need to list all the comma uh, like disk by typing the command list then space volume and then we need to hit the enter key to see all the drives connected to our computer. We need to we need to identify the drive letter for our USB drive. Right now we are seeing couple of drive letters are there like C and Z and two is not defined. We can ignore these two and we need to figure out which is the actual pen drive. So Z is the actual pen drive, right? Windows 11. Now we need to, we can exit uh, this prompt. Basically, uh, our main target was to check what is the drive letter for this USB pen drive. So now let's uh, type the command exit and then hit enter key to leave the disk part utility. Now we need to create the ISO file. To create the ISO file, we need to create uh, like we need to use on command. The command starts with x copy. So we need to type x copy, then space. Then we need to uh, give the location where the USB pen drive is there. We saw already that it is under Z drive. For your case, you have to choose the desired letter uh, for their uh, USB pen drive. So I'm going to type Z and then clone. Then we need to type a slash like this and then star then dot star then a space so that means it will copy and uh, x copy everything from this location like right? this is the source so z is the source here this is the pen drive and then why do we need to uh, put the file suppose we want to uh, save the iso file or create the iso file under this folder c drive so let's create one folder here so that it will be easy to identify and then I'm going to type the name of this folder like ISO. Okay, so it is located C ISO. So we need to tell this command prompt that keep that ISO file C colon which location ISO location. And suppose uh, the ISO file name is Win 11 because we are going to create an ISO file for Windows 11. Or you can create any ISO file for other things. I just named it like this way. And then we have to type some other command like e slash e then slash h and slash h and then finally a space slash k and then we have to hit the enter key once we hit the enter key it will ask us like this does this file is this why a file name or directory this is a file name if it is file then type f otherwise type d i'm going to type f because it's a file name Okay, then Z auto run. 
improve. Override C ISO file ISO yes no all. We need to override right. So I'm going. To, there are three options. Yes no all. Uh, I'm going to press uh, type all so that everything will be override on the on that folder. If it is if there is any old file, it will be overlay uh, uh, override everything. So I'm going to type A and it will start uh, creating the ISO file from all the files which is located on C drive. And now we need to wait a couple of minutes. It will take some time, but I'm not going to uh, wait or make the video lengthy. But I'm going to show you that once the enter process is completed successfully, then you will find the ISO file in this location. And here it is showing a Windows 11 ISO file. And this is like 6 gigabyte of space. And that's it guys. In this way, we can easily create a ISO an ISO file from any bootable USB drive. So that's it guys, thank you for watching the video.